and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Julia. So I have showed you in here before on how to make the delicious Danish dessert called Kolskål that we eat during the summer. And the summer is pretty much over, um, but I still love this dessert, so I'm going to show you how to make it again today. But on top of that, I'm going to show you how to make my favorite topping for this Kolskål. So let's get started. So for my topping, I'm going to use some sugar, butter, oatmeal and some roughly chopped hazelnuts. So because I have already showed you here before on how to make the cut scout, I am just going to throw all the ingredients down in a bowl instead of showing you all of the ingredients. But my link is down below in my description on how to make that cut scout. So first off, I'm going to start with making my cut scout. And in this bowl here, I have some sugar and I'm just going to pour in my buttermilk. I'm just going to stir in this until the sugar is dissolved. And I have just switched my whisk out with a spoon instead because it is much easier to feel and hear when the sugar is dissolved. And you don't need to whisk this mix, it is just enough just stirring in it. So my sugar is now dissolved and I'm just going to add in my cream. And it is heavy cream that I am using. So in with that, and in with my lemon juice, and in with my vanilla extract. And now it is time for the taste test. I'm just going to take some here. That is so, so good. And now I'm just going to place it in the fridge for about an hour. And while that is in the fridge, I'm going to make my topping. My topping is very easy to make. I'm just going to add all of my ingredients into a pan over at my stove. And then it was my hazelnuts, oatmeal, butter and sugar. And just keep stirring in it until the sugar and butter is nice and melted. And it all has a golden brown color. And then the topping is done. So my topping is now done and I'm just going to let it cool for about 30 minutes before I'm ready to serve my color scroll with this on top. So I really hope you enjoyed this recipe and I also added in some strawberries because that just makes it even better and if you want to give this a go just go down in my description and you can find all the ingredients down there and don't forget to subscribe to my channel here and I hope to see you all again tomorrow. Bye!